Hey, what is up guys? Chris here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Halo 5 speculation. Now, this isn't really news or anything, but I have found a couple theories that I find really interesting having to deal with the campaign in Halo 5 uh, based on the picture that was released not too long ago of the Halo 5 Guardians, Master Chief, weird-looking Spartan on top of him with the battle rifle, that whole thing. Um... I've been through a couple cool theories, and I have some other things to talk about, about, um, well, the campaign storyline theory. I have one good theory that I found on the internet that's, uh, really good, so I'll, I'll tell you guys that, and then, um, I will also tell you, uh, some of, some of my thoughts about what's going to happen in this game, and stuff similar to that. Alright, so this first theory has to do with the top Spartan and Master Chief, obviously, because that's what basically all the theories are based on now, is just this one picture. So I'm just going to read everything that it says, and then you can pick it apart and talk about it for yourself, but I will go over the gist of it and uh, what it says, and my thoughts on it also. Alright, so in the prologue in Halo 4, Catherine says that they, she is in Oni, o -O -N -I, O-N-I, whatever, whatever you want to call it, Oni wants to replace John 117. In one level in Halo 4, Cortana has, Cortana has an outburst and said, they don't care about you, they replaced you, meaning the Spartan 4s and uh, Master Chief. They've talked about this one Spartan that replaced John, uh, which, you know, could be a new Master Chief, maybe. Um, that's what was said in Halo 4, if you didn't catch that, uh, that they replaced John. There's a new Spartan that's, like, similar to Master Chief. Anyways, the chest on the Spartan looks very similar, and we're talking about the top one here. The chest looks very similar to Master Chief's, except that it has an Oni logo on it. And since the chief went rogue, Oni ha uh, may have sent this Spartan or many Spartans to kill John. And the one reason that he wears a cloak in the Xbox One teaser is that he can't be recognized by the new Oni Spartan. So you know, this is just one theory. I think there could, there could go many ways with this. Maybe um, what I think would be really cool is if that that theory um, is true, and that you know this Oni Spartan, this new Master Chief, new and improved Master Chief, is coming to kill John. Uh, just to get rid of him and stuff, but John ends up taking him out, and then maybe the UNSC realizes, like, oh, wow, John is still the best, nothing is better than John still. We can, you know, still use him, take advantage of him, but maybe John will be upset because of that, because, you know, we're getting more in touch with his emotional side, so, you know, if another Spartan's coming after him, uh, we might be able to see more of actual john not just master chief so you know that could go a couple different ways and you know this is just a theory so you never know that spartan might be helping john because you know in the last one even though you know cortana says they replaced um replaced john and stuff like that you know the spartan fours um master chief was still fighting alongside you know all these people you know uh but when halsey was hunted down to be killed uh we don't know really or uh, i'm not sure as of right now if chief knew about that but if chief knew about it that would be the perfect example of why he would go rogue just because you know halsey is like his mom pretty much that's his mother figure he lost cortana he can't lose halsey now because that's like the last thing he has left so that could just really bring you more in touch with like what 343 is trying to go for so we'll see anyways another theory that i have actually has to do with the guardians this time and the guardian was um is like an oracle it's like a type of oracle so i'm thinking we're gonna see obviously we're not gonna see 343 guilty spark because obviously you know we spartan lasered him to shit in halo 3 but we might see another another oracle or the guardian which is a sentinel more like and i saw a couple things that was talking about this in halo 3 halo 3 was actually supposed to be halo 3 guardians if you did not know that um, there was a lot of stuff in here, like right here, the map Guardian Halo 3 was actually supposed to be in the campaign, but it got put into another map on the Ark, I believe it was, and something happened with that, they completely changed everything. But anyways, right here, I have, um, I will, I will tell you what this says. The Guardian was a Forerunner Aggressor Sentinel located at the Ark. They bear a strong resemblance to the Svit compilers from Marathon and the Forerunner Hologram Epita. Epitaph, yeah. So that is also another map with uh, forerunners in it. If you did not see that in Halo 3, all of this relates back to Halo 3, pretty much. So um, that's basically what I'm going off right now. So, anyways, the Guardian Sentinel was originally set to appear in Halo 3 as a fighting enemy in a campaign level that later became a multiplayer map, obviously called Guardian. But it was removed from the final game, 
and was featured in the Art of Halo 3 instead, so, you know, that doesn't really have anything to do with it. But, um, I will put a picture of the Guardian up. You're obviously probably seeing it right now. I haven't edited that in yet. But anyways, so it says that once you kill the Guardian, you'll be able to use its eye as a weapon, sort of like the Sentinels in Halo 3, stuff like that. Uh, which would be pretty cool, but the Guardian, I'm guessing the Guardian is going to be similar to, um, the Enforcer. If you do not know what the Enforcer is, it is a Sentinel from Halo th uh, Halo 2, actually. So, um, I'll have stuff like that. All my links and sources will be in there. But I'm thinking it's going to be similar to the Enforcer, because the Enforcer was a pretty crazy Sentinel, and a lot of people don't really seem to know about the Enforcer. It's, it's a really forgotten Oracle. So, you know, those are just my thoughts on this. Um... Here's another thing that I have, uh, the Guardian Forest. Guardian Forest is a level that was cut from the final version of Halo 3. The level was um, would have induced, introduced the new enemy called the Guardian, which I'm thinking is going to be this sentinel creature, uh, sort of like the Enforcer, just a big boss, maybe tons of these things, guarding some some forerunner artifact, something like that. Something that we're trying to get to stop the Covenant, I would guess. Um, maybe the Flood came back, and now maybe some humans are trying to launch the Flood, or maybe maybe the forerunners are trying to activate Halo, or make new Halo rings, or something like that, because the Flood came back, and we have to fight these Guardians in the certain uh, installations to actually stop the Covenant or the humans from activating it. You know, maybe something like that. So those are just some of the thoughts for now. This is just one video. Um, sorry, it was a little sporadic. You know, I'll become more prepared this time. I'm new to this. But anyways, if you did enjoy this or you want to have um, a conversation about your theories, different theories, you know, stuff like that, make sure to put that down in the description. I'm willing to talk to everybody about different theories and stuff, and if, any more videos you want to see, it'd be awesome. I'm going to be covering all Halo 5 news here on my channel, and yeah, subscribe and like and, and comment some theories. Yeah, alright guys, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. First we taught them how to be silent. Then we taught them how to be Spartans.